Welcome to another classic dye products tutorial video. Today we will be showing you how to repair a plastic trim panel that has both a hardened epoxy adhesive as well as a soft glue adhesive stuck to it. We will be cleaning, removing, sanding, filling, retexturing, and recoloring. Begin by using a standard adhesive remover such as Goof Off to try to remove as much of the soft adhesive as possible. This may take a lot of scrubbing, but can save time if most of the adhesive will come off without the need for sanding. On this project, once the soft adhesive was removed, we found that there was a layer of either super glue or a hardened epoxy adhesive underneath of it. So we've come at it with an orbital sander using 320 grit sandpaper to see how much of that hardened adhesive will come off with that fine grit. Once the sanding was complete, a divot was very apparent in the plastic that will require some filling. The key to any successful repair is proper cleaning prior to every step of the process. So before we fill the divot, we will use our TriClean Prep Cleaner to thoroughly clean the area around the repair, including down inside the divot. Our choice of filler for this project will be the SPG Super Power Gel, which is a thick viscosity cyanoacrylate glue. Fill the divot completely with the SPG, and then use a spatula or business card or other flat edge to smooth the power gel across the surface. Instant curing of the power gel is possible using one of our zip kicker products, either an aerosol form or pump spray. This allows you to continue working with the glue immediately rather than waiting for the glue to set up on its own. Now a final pass using the sander and the 320 grit sandpaper to finish off this portion of the repair. To remove the hard epoxy from the surface of the plastic, we start with the same 320 grit sandpaper, see how it will fare. We quickly notice that it is not doing the job, so a quick change over to some 180 grit sandpaper, see how it will fare. The 180 seems to be doing a great job, and we really don't want to go much rougher than that on plastics. We're about to wipe the surface to remove the sanding dust so we can get a better look at where we stand. But notice at the edge of where we wipe with the TriClean how a contamination that's on the surface is rejecting the TriClean. This is what is referred to as fish eyes. Now in a very clear illustration of the importance of cleaning and thoroughly cleaning, notice how those fish eyes disappear as we do a second pass with the TriClean. Since the 180 grit appears to have done its job, it's now time to remove the sanding scratches that are left behind by that 180 grit sandpaper by stepping back down to the 320 grit sandpaper. By now you should know what's coming next. That's right, another pass with the TriClean. Again, cleaning is the most important step of any repair process. Experience has shown us that repairs and color coatings don't often fail right where the customer was trying to do the repair, but rather on the outer edges where they simply didn't clean far enough out 
and either their color coatings or their spray grains or whatever other coatings were applied reached areas where they didn't thoroughly clean. On this project, since we removed the entire trim panel, we're not taking any chances and we're cleaning the entire surface. We will provide links in the description below for the products used in this process, but for the next steps, we will be using Clean Strips Bulldog Adhesion Promoter, along with our own classic spray grain, the ASG, and finally our Aerosol 7293 Ebony Color. Apply a light to medium coat of the Bulldog Adhesion Promoter to give the surface a primered effect for your spray grain and color coatings to adhere to. You can use a hair dryer or low temperature heat gun to speed up the drying process. Applying spray grain takes some technique and a few trial and errors. So use a scrap piece to practice spraying, doing quick bursts, uh, using a hair dryer to speed up the drying and looking at how the texture is affected based on your distance from the surface, how long you hold the button, how much heat you apply, things of that nature until you get the desired effect you want and then can apply that to your project. Quite often it will take multiple coats of the spray grain to really blend in your repair area to the existing surface surrounding it. On this project, we noticed after spraying coats of the spray grain on the right side of the trim panel that you could still see the divot just slightly on the left side of the panel, so came back and applied a couple more coats to blend that in better. With the adhesion promoting coat and spray grain coats completed, it's now time to apply your color coat. Your initial coat should be a light coat. Start with the repair area first, spraying a couple of light coats and drying those coats with a hair dryer or low temperature heat gun as needed. After those coats are dry and you're ready to move on to additional coats, you can begin to spray slightly heavier coats from about 12 to 18 inches away for optimum coverage. Again, use a hair dryer or low temperature heat gun as needed to speed up the drying process. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully this helps you with whatever project you may be working on. If you did like it, be sure to hit the like button below and visit our websites at ClassicLeatherDye.com or ClassicDyeProducts.com.